Hello guys, what is up? It's Tony the Chief One here. Today I have a tutorial requested by Death King J2. Um, he actually just left a comment 30 minutes ago on my recent video, just uploaded, requesting that you guys give me some tutorials to make, and I already have a request. So thank you, Death King Junior, Junior, sorry, Death King J2, for um for requesting it. So uh, he, uh, I don't know if it's a he or she. I was gonna say, I'm assuming you're a guy. Sorry if you're a girl or not. Um, he said that he has Sony Vix Pro 11, same thing as me, and when he imports his videos, that there isn't any audio. And he did record himself speaking, but there isn't any audio, and the reason why is that he told me he uses Bandicam, which is a program that you, that people use to record games, and the only bad thing about Bandicam is it renders videos in .avi files, and Sony Vegas for some reason hates .avi files, and sometimes it only shows the video, not audio, and sometimes it only shows the audio and not video. This other way, yeah, video not audio or audio not video, and for my case, it's it shows video but not audio. So uh, today, I'm going to show you how to do that and how to fix that so you can get audio and video into your Sony Vegas Pro 11 or any version. So when you have Bandicam open, make sure that you go into the video tab and then go to settings. Make sure that it's set to record your sound, and for the primary sound device, have it either at Windows 7 sound, that's like the main sound of your computer, so if you're playing Minecraft or something, you'll record that sound in Minecraft, or record one of your microphones. And then once you have that all set up, record a video, and I'll just open up Sony Vegas, import that video I recorded really quickly, and uh, in Bandicam, I just recorded a quick Minecraft thing. So as you can see, it only shows the video, not the audio. So what you have to do for that is you have to download a program, it's free, it's called Virtual Dub. I'll leave a link in the description down below for that. So you're going to have to open that up, and then go to File, Open Video, and then find the Bandicam video recorded. Double click on that, hit OK, go to Audio, and then go to Full Processing Mode, and then go to Video, and then go to Direct Stream Copy. And then go to File, Save as AVI, and don't worry, it's going to save as AVI, but this time it will have the audio and video in it. So then just name it whatever you want, I'll just name it random stuff. Hit Save, it'll render, and then go back to Sony Vegas, get rid of your old video. Go back, find the new one that you just rendered in Virtual Dub. Where is that? Right here. And as you can see, boom, it has audio and video. And you won't hear anything since I didn't actually I didn't record my game, Minecraft uh, game, but yeah, I can't really hear anything. <laughs> but anyway, so that's how you do it. That's how you import AVI files or fix that AVI problem most people have. Um, there are also plugins you can do. I try them, but they're really confusing because a lot of people on YouTube give different videos on how to fix the AVI problem with no sound or no video, and then they give you different plugins, and you know it's really confusing because they give you different ones and that can screw up your. Um, plugins for Sony Vegas because Sony Vegas replies on the uh, audio and codecs in your computer and then it'll, if, it, if there's like multiple codecs then it won't work so just this is a, probably the easiest way you know it does take some time to actually you know record the video and then go to virtual dub do all that stuff but it's actually easier than you know getting messed up with codecs so um thank you Death King J2 for that request and if you guys want me to do another tutorial like this one then leave a request down below in the comment section down below please like this video and or subscribe thanks for watching